constitutional AI. Let's begin with values. And I mean both the personal ones you hold, but also the things you value. For a long time now, AI researchers in alignment have gone down the rabbit hole of trying to encode all types of rules to help align them, but to no avail. A leak always springs somewhere unexpected, manifesting in clever ways through the AI's reward function. The truth is, we can never encode something as squishy as ethics and how to behave in every conceivable scenario. Although the U.S. Constitution has its issues, many of them can be attributed to the time it was written. The Founding Fathers and the nascent government of the time created something truly innovative, 250 years ago. A lot has changed since then, and yet the Constitution created the framework for the success of the United States and allowed for the concepts of democracy to gain significant influence around the globe. Why is this? I'm no constitutional scholar, but my opinion is that it expertly combined and aligned a set of values, the Bill of Rights, with a system that balanced incentives in who gets to hold power and how much. We have made it quite difficult to change the Constitution, our foundational ethical and legal programming, as another protection against corruption. Sure, someone could come along and change it for the better, but it's more likely someone will change it for personal gain, and we want to protect against that. It has also served as an almost religious text, forcing us to mold the ideas of the Founding Fathers into a future they never could have predicted, which has resulted in our own issues of alignment as a society today. Many researchers are starting to take a leaf out of the Founding Fathers' book, and are turning to aligning on common and ethical values alongside policies, which serve as a guide in a diverse set of scenarios. An interesting approach in this area is being led by Anthropic, who have embedded a constitution into Claude, their version of ChatGPT. Anthropic readily admits the current version is far from perfect, but the approach is both novel and flexible, so that it can evolve when it comes into contact with reality. They have pulled from the UN's Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Apple's Terms and Services, DeepMind's Sparrow Rules, and even some non-Western principles. Although these were not chosen democratically, I think we can all agree that these can serve as a proxy for the time being. I appreciate this angle on the problem because it also allows for individuals, companies, nations, etc. to encode their own values into a system. Likely, there will need to be some regulatory values globally, but there is plenty of space to include more culturally relevant values in such a system. For example, a society that has a deep respect for their elders might see an AI that more readily draws upon the wisdom of past generations to inform its outputs and decisions. But even with this promising approach, we still run into this issue of uncertainty and control. Let's take, for example, a robot who has been programmed with the value that the human is always right. You have handed over the task of driving your child to school to the robot. One day, your child decides to be a smartass and commands the robot that instead of going to school, they will be heading to the movie theater to see an R-rated film. Well, of course, the robot listens, and instead of going to school, your child enjoys a day watching inappropriate movies. Yes, a ridiculous example, and you could argue that you can code into the robot that a parent's decisions carry more weight than a child's. But then we're back to the whack-a-mole method of trying to code a behavior or weight for every possible scenario. The point is, constitutional AI can get us most of the way there, but not all of the way there. Like I stated earlier, there is still no means to incorporate some level of uncertainty into an AI's decision-making, so it can really reflect and transparently demonstrate how and why it's making a specific decision. For this, we can turn to a couple of different experimental methods. Stepwise relative reachability and attainable utility preservation.